All right, welcome back. Uh, let's complete our lesson of dividing polynomials part two. So here, um, in the previous example, we looked at polynomials, and if you remember, all the signs were positive. Here, we'll switch it up and we'll have some signs that are negative, and we'll see how we'll compute, uh, we'll, we'll see how we divide these polynomials, right? But the same rhythm always goes at the same time. What would be the first question we ask ourselves if we wanted to divide x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. What would be uh, our first step or our first rhythm, right? So let's see. What would I say first? Um, how many times does this x over here, right? go into this x to the fourth over here. And I'll have it just like this, so you can see nice and well, right? And when what was the rhythm? We would say, um, how many times does x go into x to the fourth? Remember, the x to the fourth is on top and x is on the bottom. And if I were to divide these two, we get x cubed, right? So this x cubed goes up here, and then what would we do next? We multiply x cubed times x, right? We'll have x cubed times x, that'll be x to the fourth, and we put it over here. Then we're also gonna do x cubed times minus one, and that'll be negative x cubed, and we'll put that over here. Okay, so far so good. And then what would be the next idea? So this was step one, this was step two. Uh, what would be step three, right? We would say uh, parentheses, parentheses, subtract. Yeah, so here, okay. Then what do we need to do? We need to distribute the negative. So I'll just be very meticulous and write everything down for us. Distribute the negative. Okay, so then this would be a negative x to the fourth, and this will be a positive x cubed, right? A negative times a negative is a positive, right? So now here, what are we going to do? We're gonna have, let me make sure camera angle is good, right? We have x to the fourth minus x to the fourth. This cancels. Then we're gonna have negative two x cubed plus x cubed and pause the video, what would we get over here? Right, we would get uh, negative x cubed. So this negative x cubed comes down here and then we bring down all the other terms, plus two x squared minus two x plus one. Okay, then how would we continue the problem, right? We would um, repeat the pattern, right? We would say, how many times does this x go into this negative x cubed. And what would be the algebra we need to show to figure that out? We would have this negative x cubed on top, this x is on the bottom, and what would we get? Negative x squared, right? So then what do we do with this negative x squared? We put it, put it over here. And then we have negative x squared times x is negative x cubed. Negative x squared times negative one is positive x squared, All right? Then repeat, parentheses, parentheses, subtract. Okay, we distribute the negative. The negative times this negative becomes positive. This negative times this positive becomes negative, right? And just so I don't confuse myself, I always like, after I distribute the negative, I like to put my finger or my hand over here to tell myself I'm combining these terms, right? I have negative x cubed, plus x cubed, that's zero, All right? I'll just show that here again if you want, negative x cubed plus x cubed is zero. And then we have two x squared minus x squared, I'll write it over here, two x squared minus x squared is just one x squared or just x squared. Let me put that over here. And then we bring down the negative two x and we bring down the positive one. And we repeat the pattern. We say, how many times does x 
go into x squared, I'll just write it over here, x squared is on top, x is on the bottom. When you're first dividing polynomials, you should always, every time you ask yourself how many times does something go into something, it really helps when you show the algebra on the side before you start doing everything in your head. Um, so yeah, so how many times does x go into x squared? It goes in x times. So I bring that x over here. Then what do we do? We multiply, right? x times x is x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. And what do we do? We distribute the negative, right? So negative times this positive becomes negative. Negative times this negative over here becomes positive. So x squared minus x squared cancels. Negative 2x plus x is negative x plus 1. How many times does, final one, how many times does x go into negative x, right? I can show that algebra here if you want. How many times does x go into negative x? It goes in, what would this be over here? Pause the video. Right, this would be negative one. Right, so then this goes in negative one times, and then negative one times x is negative x. Negative one times negative one is positive one. Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. Distribute the negative. This is positive. This is negative. We're almost done. Uh, negative x plus x cancels. Uh, positive 1 minus 1. This is just 0. And then here we are. And now, once we get the 0, don't think the 0 just means we're done with the problem. What does this 0 signify? Right? Um, Pause the video if you want and take a look at your notes. What does this zero, try and write that sentence out, right? Um, what would it be? It would be uh, x minus one is a factor of x to the fourth minus two x cubed plus two x squared minus two x plus one, okay? That's what we could say when we have a zero at the end. This is our remainder. All right, this one was um, a lot, but hopefully you're, with practice, the rhythm is fun to do. Hopefully you have fun doing these problems. Okay, let's take a look at something like this. Now here, if you want, pause the video and try this one on your own. And don't freak out if you don't get a zero at the end, right? The question, will be what happens if we have a remainder. Okay. So let's assume you try to do this question and let's see how we do it. How many times does 2x go into 6x cubed? I'll show the algebra here. I'm not going to write out the steps again. Uh, divided by 2x, right? And now this becomes 3x squared, right? So 3x squared goes on top. Then we multiply 3x squared times this. 2x is 6x cubed. 3x squared times 1 is positive 3x squared. Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. Okay. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed is 0, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you could uh, distribute the negative, right? So negative times this positive 3x is negative. And now I have negative 5x squared minus 3x squared is negative 8x squared, okay? So then we have negative 8x squared over here. How many times does 2x go into negative 8x squared? The negative 8x squared is on top. 2x is on the bottom. Be patient. What would this be? Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. x squared divided by x is so negative 4x goes up here. Negative 4x times 2x. Oh, sorry, we have to bring down the rest of the terms, right? Negative 4x times 2x is negative 8x squared. Negative 4x times 1 is negative 4x, right? Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. Okay. This negative times this negative 8x squared makes this a positive. This becomes a positive. So 
So negative 8x squared plus 8x squared cancels. This is negative 22x plus 4x will be negative 18x. Right? So we have negative 18x over here. Bring down the minus 5. Now here, what do we do? We say, how many times does 2x go into negative 18x? And this will be negative nine. Okay, so we put a negative nine up here. Negative nine times two x is negative 18 x. Negative nine times one is negative nine. Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. This becomes positive. This becomes positive. We distribute the negative, right? So then negative 18 x plus 18 x is zero, or cancels, and then what is negative 5 plus 9, this is um, positive 4, right? So now we have a 4 over here. Dum, dum, dum. What does this positive 4 mean? What does this mean? Before, when we had a remainder of 0, we could say that x minus 1 evenly goes into this. Just to show uh, another kind of example to help us with this idea, imagine if I said, hey, what are the factors of 20? What two numbers when you multiply give me 20? Right? I could have uh, 1 and 20, 2 and 10, and 4 and 5, right? These whole numbers, right? So if I take 20 and I divide it by any one of these numbers, let's say, let's say 5, right? What is 20 divided by 5? Or how many times does 5 go into 20? It goes in 4 times, right? So I do this, I subtract, and notice I have a remainder of 0. So I know 5 is a factor of 20 because I have a remainder of 0. But if I said, what is 20 divided by 6? Notice 6 does not evenly go into 20. How many 6s go into 20? There are three sixes, so I do three times six is 18, subtract, I get two. So notice that because I have a remainder of two, I could say six is not a factor of 20. But notice how, what can I do to get this 20? Notice that I could do six times three, right? If I multiply these two numbers, six times three, plus the remainder, notice that gives me 20. And that's kind of the idea of what's going to happen here. We could say that 2x plus 1 is not a factor of um, this whole entire 6x cubed minus 5x squared minus 22x minus 5. But then what we would have to do is we'd take this 4 as a remainder when we show it as plus 4 over 2x minus 1. And this would be the quotient over here when we divide these two polynomials. All right? That's all you need to do if you have a remainder. And what, it takes time, but the, you just have to practice these types of problems to trust that you're doing the algebra right. Uh, many times when you're doing these problems at first, uh, there's a, a sign mix-up or just adding and subtracting mix-up. So uh, be patient. And uh, if you practice the delta math assignments, um, you, would, you will get better with these dividing polynomials. Okay. Last example. And then we will be done. Let's take a look at this one. If I have x cubed minus 8 divided by x minus 2. Now, for the problems that we've been doing, notice that if you take a look at the order of the exponents, they're in order such as like 3, 2, 1, and there is an x is 0 here, but that's for another day. But notice that the exponents are in nice descending order. Now here, we don't have that. We just have x cubed minus 8. So what's another way of looking at this problem? Well, let's just see what happens, right? Trust yourself. What's the first 
thing you're going to do when you're solving this problem for dividing polynomials, right? How many times does x go into x cubed? What would be the algebra, right? x cubed is on top, x is on the bottom. So then x cubed divided by x is x squared. So we put that x squared over here. And then if I have x squared times x, I have x cubed. x squared times minus 2 is minus 2x squared. Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. Okay. So you distribute the negative. This becomes positive. And notice that can I subtract x cubed minus x cubed? Yes, the exponents are the same, so I could subtract these two terms, so I get zero. But then when you take a look at this part, can I do negative 8 plus 2x squared? Can I combine these two terms? You can't. So what you're going to do is you're just going to leave it. And instead of leaving it as negative 8 plus 2x squared, we want it in uh, standard form, so we're just going to show it as 2x squared minus 8. So then notice that you cannot combine these two terms. So then we just drop it down like this. Okay? And because, and it's really important to make sure that the highest term, uh, the, yeah, the, the, the term with the highest degree is in front, because now you're going to ask yourself, how many times does x go into 2x squared? And notice that I could do this, right? And then when I do this algebra, I just get 2x. And then I can put the 2x up here. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x. Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. Notice that this will be a negative. 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. Uh, this will be a positive, right? Negative 8 plus 4x. So notice that, can I combine negative 8 plus 4x? You cannot. So you just leave it as 4x minus 8. And I should probably draw this so you don't get confused here. But, um, so yeah. And then, final part. How many times does x go into 4x? You have 4x divided by x. This is 4. Where does the 4 go? It goes up here, plus 4. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. And we get a remainder of 0. So yeah, if the polynomial is not in a sense where it's in descending order or there are gaps between the terms, then just make sure that because you see here, when you're doing these other problems, or like maybe the easier problems, it's set up in such a way where notice that you have the same exponent every time when you're adding and subtracting the terms, right? Because remember, when you're adding and subtracting terms, the exponent has to be the same. So when you were doing these problems, the exponents just happen to be the same every single time, right? Like every single time, the exponents are always the same, so you can combine the terms. But sometimes that's not the case. And you see that here, so you just have to be a little patient to make sure that, ask yourself if you can combine the terms. Another way of doing this problem, if you want, is, um, here, I'll show you. And this will be the final part. Another way of setting up this problem is, so notice that the original question was, um, what is x cubed minus 8 divided by x minus 2, right? Another way of showing this or setting it up is saying that this is equal to x minus 2, right? And what I'm going to do is, you see this x cubed minus 8? I'm just going to show it as x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 8. This x cubed minus 8 is the same as x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 8. And watch what you can do to help you. Watch how this helps you set it up sometimes. Because what's the first move? How many times does x go into x cubed? It's x squared times. You do this. x cubed. x squared minus 2x 
is negative 2x squared, right? Parentheses, parentheses, subtract. And notice how it helps you set it up because notice you're putting this negative 2x squared under the 0x squared because you can combine these terms. Before that didn't, um, um, let me see. Oh, my bad, where did I put the paste? Oh, yeah. Um, notice how it wasn't set up that you could combine these terms, but in this example it is. So here this becomes, this cancels, and now notice that this becomes a positive 2x squared, and then you can clearly see that, oh, I can't combine these terms, so I drop everything down. And you go through the problem. So if you feel like you want to start by, if you ever get something like this where the terms are not in descending order, you could have this set up. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video for dividing polynomials. Um, practice, practice, practice. I'll see you.